Hello guys, I'm your friend Arunika and today I'm here once again back with you all. So today we are going to do a, do the exercises. Firstly, very short answer type questions and it is based on things which we, which we have studied till now. So let's get started. So here is our very first question that is, by what other name is the unit joule per column called? So as I have told you, that joule per column. We can write it as this also joule upon column. Joule upon column. So we know that joule is the unit of the work done. Joule is a unit of the work done and we denote it by J and column is the Column is the quantity of the charge move, which is Q. So this is, so this is volt equals to volt. So this is the formula of volt. As I have told you, that volt equals to 1 joule upon 1 column equals to 1 volt. Now we move to our next question. That is, which of the following statement correctly defines a volt? First is, a volt is a joule per ampere. And second, a volt is joule per column. So as it is, we have done in question number one, that a, a volt is joule per column. So B option is correct. Now, third A, what do the letters PD stand for? So as I have told you yesterday, that PD stands for the potential difference. I have told you that we can write potential difference as PD also. Like this, P dot D. This can also be said to potential difference. Now, next is which device is used to measure PD? So, PD is measured with an instrument called voltmeter. Right. Now, we move to next question. What is meant by saying that electric potential at a point is 1 volt? So, 1 joule of work done, 1 joule of work done, in moving a unit positive charge from infinity to that point is the electric potential of 1 joule of the work done. Right? Now we will move to how much work is done when one coulomb charge moves against a potential difference of 1 volt. Right? So we will do it as follows. This is about our question number 5. So, how much work is done? We have to find the work. Firstly, we will write given. So, when one coulomb charge moves, so coulomb Q, we represent it by Q, it is one coulomb. And against the potential difference of one volt. And potential difference of PD is one volt. We have to find work done. We have to find work done. And as you know, the formula is V equals to W upon Q. So, W, we have to find out V. So, 1 equals to W upon 1. We will cross multiply it. So, 1 only came. So 12, oh, sorry. W, W is the work done equals to 1 joule. So, your answer is the work done is 1 joule. Now, our sixth question, what is the SI unit of potential difference? SI unit means international standard unit. And international standard unit of potential difference is volt. Now, how much work is done in moving a charge of 2 coulomb across 2 points having a potential difference of 12 volt? So, this is also numerical, so we will solve it. This is question number 7. So in this question, it is asked that how much work is done. In this also we have to find out the work done in moving a charge of 2 coulomb. Charge is 2 coulomb. Across 2 point having a potential difference of 12 volt. And potential difference is 12 volt. So we have to find out the work done. So with the formula V equals to W upon Q. So V here, that is potential difference 12. 
W we have to find out and Q is 2. So we will do cross multiplication. So 12 into 2 equals W. 24 equals W. So work done equals to 24 joule. So our work done is 24 joules. So here it is complete. Now we will come to what is the unit of electric charge. The unit of electric charge is coulomb. And it is denoted by the letter C. Next question define one coulomb charge. So one coulomb charge is that quantity of electric charge which exerts a force of 9 to 10 to power 9 newtons on an equal charge which is kept at a distance of 1 meter from it. So this is the definition of one coulomb charge. Now here is in question 10, here is the fill in the blanks which we have to fill with suitable words. First part is potential difference is measured in it is measured in volts. And by using which instrument we use to measure it? It's voltmeter. Placed in dash across a component. And it is placed parallel. Always voltmeter is placed parallel. Copper and B part is copper is a good conductor. It's a good conductor. And plastic is an insulator. We have studied that conductors and insulators. Conductors are those substances through which electricity can pass. So all the metals in which and so all the metals can pass electricity. In all the metals electricity can pass. So copper is a good conductor and plastic is a insulator. Okay. So just that's all for today video. And in next video we will discuss about short answer type questions. Till then, be happy, stay safe, and thank you.